Well, if you love to cook, you know the importance of stocking your kitchen with the proper tools. Let's face it, it's kind of hard to flip a pancake with a fork. Here to tell us a little bit about some of those cool tools that are must-haves in the kitchen is Chef Andy Broder. He is the owner of Andy Food Culinary Studio in Scottsdale. Nice to see you. Uh, thanks for having me. So it's nice to have you here. Tell me a little bit about some of the things that you love in the kitchen. I, the things I like are really simple, yeah. actually. If I tied your hands behind your back and said you could only have three things, what would they be? A sharp knife, probably actually a big bowl and a wooden spoon, which is yeah. pretty basic. The sharp knife would get you untied, too. Yes, there you go. <laughs> it's useful. Okay, so let's go through the five things that you say you really think people should have in their kitchen. Where do you want to start? Okay, start here. Oh, okay. So, this is pretty. What's this? It's a microplane, which is a kind of a grater. Yeah. They have different kinds of blades, but they, you know, you can do Parmesan cheese or you could do lemon zest. Okay. This is the zest one. And you can just see it just really just scrapes yeah. that stuff it's right beautiful. off of there. And then it's right up here and you can just knock it off knock and it use off it whatever right. you want. Yeah, I love that. And then the next thing is this right here. And tell me about those. Pastry brushes. Yeah. But, but specifically sort of in, in for low-tech tools, high-tech, they're made out of silicone. Which is much different than the brushes that you usually see that have the... Right. They're easy to clean. They can touch a hot burner and they won't melt. Oh. Um, you put them in the dishwasher, which you can't do with the, with the natural bristle ones. Right. Um, and so I think that, you know, for just even brushing a little oil in a pan before you saute, you can use kind of healthy cooking light. But right. Easier than spray stuff. I like that it's um, that it's able to take heat too. How, how much are those generally? Do you think? You know, you can like ranging from as little as probably three or four dollars to some kind of fancy ones, maybe ten or twelve. But okay. they're not expensive. Very good. And here's your sharp knife. Yeah, and that keyword is sharp. Yeah, I probably um, shouldn't even be holding it. What is it about the knife what, that you like? Because there are so many of them that are out there. Um, well, this is an Asian kind of style blade, mm -hmm. which I I I, t I do kind of like them. Um, they're a little sort of you know how like a Ferrari kind of looks really nice. Asian knives tend to have that same sort of sleek look. Sleek look. Yeah. Um, the blades are a little thinner. Um, I think I have nice control with them. Yeah. Um, I like the shape lets you rock. I like with this one too that it's got a nice weighty handle so you feel mm -hmm. like you're really in control of your knife. It's flat here so you can put your thumb down right. if you're cooking and if you like if you're one of these people that like to kind of get up on your knife you're you've got a nice you little do thick that too. space exactly. there too. Beautiful. I love that knife. Okay. Those can get to be really crazy expensive. They can. This is this is a medium expensive one. Yeah. Um, it looks like a really expensive one. But you would use it every single day. Uh, you would use it every day. Yeah. Okay. And then tell me a little bit about this. It okay. looks like a scoop or scraper. Right. It's, some people call it a scraper. It's really called a bench knife. Yeah. But... Um, Here. So dice these apples for me and we'll show okay. people what we do with it. Okay. All right. So. Just kind of cut a I've used bit this off. actually to get cookies underneath the, you know, on the cookie sheet if they're right. sticking. I the, it, I, it has a lot of uses. So, okay, so one of the things that I use it for yeah. pretty regularly is sort of the scooping up and getting stuff to the skillet or whatever. Isn't that fabulous? I love that. You, you know, versus getting your hands sticky. Plus, if it's sure. drippy, like you've done tomatoes or yeah. something, it kind of holds and gets the juice all the way to the pan. Perfect. Um, if you have pizza dough, it lets you cut it. You can actually let kids can cut pizza with this. It's not sharp, sharp and it does the, the okay. section. So I've actually seen someone who, who scooped juice, and when they scooped juice, they went like, I got oh, like to do it backwards. They scooped juice, and then they held it here, and it, and it actually kind of kept it in the tube, that's, which I, was something I hadn't even thought of before. I learned a new trick. <laughs> I taught you something new? Yes, that's, that's shocking. Great. Okay, let's go over here to the togs, because these ones, unlike mine, don't have a hook on them. Why, why are they not locked? Well, in fact, actually, sort of, uh, not only do I like tongs, because I think you can, like, pick up raw chicken with them. Yeah. I don't like that little lock thing. Okay. It gets rusty if, yes. you've had them for, if it goes through the dishwasher twice. Right. Um, it gets gunk in it that you can't clean out. Yeah. So these are, are, are you know always cleanable. They don't break. Those other kind do break yeah. eventually and wear out. So these are super cool too because this is kind of like the uh, where your oven would have the. Uh -huh, the you handle. can hang it there. So you can hang it there. So you look like a professional chef just like you. And these have that that little kind. It's really a plastic, but they. Yeah. So if you're doing hot stuff, they they have a little bit of resilience in terms of that you can hold them for a while in hot stuff. Hey, before we get to the towels, let me ask you about your studio because I know you do cooking classes and things like that. You have Cupcake Wars coming up? I do have Cupcake Wars of Crepe class coming up. Um, we do all sorts of classes. You used to be an attorney. Do you? Are you excited that you are doing, you've been doing this for eight years? So, wow. Um, but do you love it? Um, I do love this, and yeah. I don't miss that. <laughs> so. All right. So, one more thing. Tell me about the towels and why oh. you love these. Well, these two are just here because we needed towels. This is a, a microfiber towel. Yeah. Um, it stops up everything. It stops up everything. It's really good when you're trying to buff um, water spots out of once you're, like, serving people 
the silverware and the glasses and stuff yeah. like that. So, um, and and I've sort of learned over time, you can actually put these in and bleach them, so you can actually sanitize oh, them. So that's okay. kind of nice. Very good, Andy. Thanks so much for being with us, Chef Andy. Hey, by the way, Andy Broder, he's got um, a great place, and if you want to check it out, uh, go to our website. We're at abc15.com. Click on the lifestyle tab and take a class. Have some fun in the kitchen.